Hi, my name is Barr. Uh, I've had an artificial leg for 48 years. Uh, the first 13 years of my, after my accident, I had nothing but sores, and I found out how to get rid of sores and how to and how to uh, keep them away. Uh, I don't know if this works for people that have problems with sugar diabetes, but if you don't have problems with sugar diabetes, I've helped a lot of people. So at night, when I go to bed, I take my leg off. Take my socks off. These are plastic bags. I'm going to explain these to you. I have a nylon on. I'll explain that to you. I take off my other plastic bag. When you pull this one off, you're going to kind of pull it off kind of easy because it sticks to your skin. Don't just jink it off. Just pull it kind of easy. Okay, then I take what they call Cetaphil. about that much in my hand. I lather it up. I wash my stump with it. Then I take a towel. And then I go to bed. In the morning, so when I get up, I'll take a shower and I'll put my leg back on. And I'll show you what I do when I put my leg back on. Okay, so I've taken a shower, I'm out of my shower. So I grab my plastic bags. Don't, don't blow in them to open the bag up. Just take the bag, slide over your stump. Okay, the purpose of a nylon is so the second bag can slide over the first Do you one. you put Cetaphil on your stump in the morning? Nope. Okay. Oh, just at night. Okay, seams of nylons and socks. See the seam there? You want that away from your body. So I put my nylon on. See how the seam is sticking out? It's away from my body. So the nylon is inside out. Yep. And then I take another bag. Where do you get these bags? Well, I got them from my business. Uh, you want a clear bag? Uh, I, I don't know where to tell you to get them. Could you use like a bag from a bread? Local yeah, bread? You, you don't want to use a plastic bag that has color in it. You want a clear plastic bag. Uh, use a bag with color in it. Uh, when I use it, it bothered me. That the, the dye in the in the color bothered me. So I put on the second bag. I take my stump sock. Seam out again. So inside out. See how the seam's out? I put that on. Okay, I found out that if you will, I take my liner out, put on my stump. I found out that if you'll stand up, step into your leg, it works a lot better than if you pulled your leg on. Now you notice that I have a strap on my leg. The, I like a strap because I know my leg is not gonna come off. I've talked to hundreds of people that have the suction leg and their legs will come off. My leg won't come off because of the strap. I've talked to several, I mean, not hundreds, but probably a hundred people that had the suction leg and they went to a strap, and they liked the strap better because if you're walking and you lose your suction, your leg will come off, and with mine, it won't come off. This leg right here is probably 11 months old, 10 months old, it's a, it's a new leg. Uh, but unless I do something stupid, like work on a ladder for eight or 10 hours a day, or do a lot of walking on lawn or on gravel, I, I won't get a sore. If I do those things, I'll get a sore. But you mow lawn, you mow your lawn I can and mow do my all lawn, of but, that. But I mean, uh, you can tell if it if, if it starts getting irritated, add another sock. I carry socks with me. I will add during the day. I might add one or two socks. There's my seam again on the outside. 
Inside out. And because the more you walk out during the day, your stump will shrink. So just add another sock. And if you do, you stand up and, and put your leg back on. So I'll just show you. So say I got to add another sock, which I don't have to, but so I want to add another sock. Just put another sock on. So I've been on this leg since well, what, eight o'clock this morning, and I started with one sock. So twelve hours. And I still got one sock. So put the liner on. Stand up. Step into it. Now I can tell that I got too many socks on just from the just from the way it feels. So I'm going to take this sock back off. I'm just showing you what, what I do. If my stump starts hurting, then I know I need a sock. But my stump's not hurting yet. And it might hurt around here. It might hurt up here. It just, it's just uncomfortable. And if it gets to that point, put a sock on. Uh, these are not medical socks. Medical socks are very expensive because it's a medical device, which is a joke. So what I do, I buy what they call sanitary baseball socks. Baseball players wear these. Uh, I think right here, I got a sock with the, with the name on it. You notice I got three, actually I got four socks with me. But I usually only get another one. So this is the sock that I wear. And this is the kid size sock. And so what I do, I take a pair of scissors and I cut through this, this uh, band here. I cut through the band so this will stretch out and go around my stomach. You can get these socks at any athletic store. They're called sanitary tube socks and I buy the, I buy the kid size. And that's what I do.